In my last video, I started making a physics engine and it got a couple views. So as a continuation to that, and in order to assert my intelligence, I mean to, to, ah, what's another way to put this? I found this one guy called Grant Cott, who's been doing simulations for, get this, 14 years. So I sent a kind, polite, genuine, and earnest email to him asking for some guidance. He told me to just use existing tools and only if they don't fit your needs should you look into implementing your own because it could take at least a year to get something optimized and stable. So needless to say, I took that personally. It became personal with me. So let's start work on our epic fluid simulation as the next contribution to Geep. As usual, before we actually start coding the physics, we need a way to actually see what's going on visually. Essentially, we need to take a whole bunch of particle positions and somehow make it show up on the screen as a body of fluid. We start where many things start, the balls. Now, drawing spheres onto the screen is easy enough, but this doesn't look like a fluid. I know what you're thinking. What's the magic that transforms these balls into some of our favorite liquids such as spilled milk, runny peanut butter, expired Mountain Dew. Well, you see, this is when our brains are supposed to expand. We'll use a method called screen space fluid rendering. There's a very helpful document from the 2010 Game Developers Conference by some guy from NVIDIA, and it's 75 freaking pages. Take a deep breath. You can do it. Fuck. What does this do? Ooga booga caveman brain. It makes the whole thing look smooth so people will be like, oh yes, yes, nice fluid. They won't realize your fluid body is actually just a whole bunch of dumbass balls. You know what that's called? Lies and deceit. This shit took me two weeks, I wanna kill myself. Y'all don't realize how wise I am and just by being here, you're absorbing my wisdom. Wisdom as a collective converges. Good to see everybody here. Have a seat, have a seat. Now you might be asking, shouldn't the fluid be blue and transparent? Well, now, nah, okay, the reason it's not transparent is definitely not because I can't figure out how to make it transparent. Like, what? Stupid idea. Obviously my coding skills are up to par for this trivial task. But yeah, it's actually liquid gold. You know, I just, I just thought like this way it matches my wealth and status a little bit better. And you know what? Actually, let me just check my bank account real quick. <laughs> So, there's usually two different ways to simulate a fluid. You could use a grid, or you could use a bunch of particles. Through decades of research and global collaboration, scholars across the world have come up with these models as the most optimal, stable, and realistic ways to simulate a fluid. Pick flip, APIC, or NPM use a combination of the two to get the best of both worlds. Which is why we'll be crossing them off our list of options. My brain is not built for stuff of that caliber. What is this, Boston Dynamics? We're using a particle-only method called SPH, the most simple, primal caveman. I found this person on GitHub called RL Guy who already has an SPH implementation. So as long as he doesn't know about this, I should be able to just, oh wait, it's in C++ and I'm using C sharp. Oh my God damn. Do I actually have to code this? It's what the world has been waiting for. It's the next big thing. A continuation to the legacy of Steve Jobs. Perhaps the second invention of sliced bread. A groundbreaking physical representation of liquid shit. I mean, liquid gold. I'm literally a caveman out here writing the most garbage of garbage, spaghetti of spaghetti code. But yeah, we got a kind of working fluid sim going on. At least there's like waves, I think. I don't know, my goal has been achieved then I guess. Honestly, I don't know how I did it. Maybe with the power of Google, Red Bull, and sheer will, anything is possible. But okay, I swear if I see a single comment saying this looks like diarrhea, I'm committing a war crime.